Ready now? Away. Now, position three showing speed, Shadow of Fortune, trying to get across the inside runners as they make their way to the first turn. Grabbing hold now is Giddy Up Grady to take the sit. Here they go to the mile post and getting across uh, was Shadow of Fortune. Lead time shows 12.9, so timing mechanisms working, so well done James, but in the meantime starting to move around the outside, Pat being stride with speed, takes over, and he's keen to rev it up as well, Jake Webster and he takes it to the front, down the back out in front, uh, with a margin of about 6 metres, in second placing is Shadow of Fortune, and in third placing behind those, about 5 or 6 metres away was Aldo Cumulus uh, after being restrained, early 10 metres away to Giddy Up Grady, and uh, the last one, with a solid tempo, early is Classic Chaos, first quarter 20 8.9, he revved it up, he's keen to stoke it up, Jake Webster in the early part patter being stride and brings him into the front straight, he is clearly the highest assessed horse in the race so he should be able to do some work and still be pretty uh, prominent at the finish, leads away by 4 metres, Shadow of Fortune is second speed is good, not quite as good as at 28.9 for the first quarter Aldo Cumulus in third placing then behind that is Giddy Up Grady and at the tail end of the field is Classic Chaos they go around the bend, they've gone past the half mile, 700 to go He's trying to stoke up Pat being stride again. 28.9 the first quarter, then 30.3 for the second section. And that gave them a 59.2 first half. And Pat being stride, well, Horrick's not sitting in with Shadow of Fortune. He wants to give it a good trial. He goes straight past Pat being stride and goes to the lead. Gets about two, three, nearly four metres clear. Angling off from the inside was Giddy Up Grady underneath the Auto Cumulus, who's off the track. Giddy Up Grady starting to come into the trial okay as well. And following through through his classic chaos. Well, they went 29-8 for the third quarter. Shadow of Fortune in front. Giddy up Grady's running a great trial. Moves into second placing. Classic chaos is coming as well. Patterbing's dry getting tired. It's back there without a cumulus. On the outside, Giddy up Grady goes to Shadow of Fortune, but now Classic Chaos is going to come over the top. Driven quietly, appreciated the solo tempo, and Classic Chaos goes on to win. Uh, second placing, Giddy up Grady. Third, Shadow of Fortune. They're about 12 metres clear.